when God said it is not good, come on in, Pastor James, and do a prayer of salvation. I'll come on in. God bless. How are you today? We're doing great. Who is this, John? Yeah, this is Pastor John, your old buddy. And i got a quick question. Have you dealt with demon possession? Yeah, we dealt we deal with a lot of different uh, entities. There is definitely demons out there, yes. Well, my grandpa Ronnie just came back from Las Vegas, and now he's possessed by a horny demon. Here, listen. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Go right here. Sixty-nine! Yeah! Okay. All right, we definitely got to pray for him. Good, because he's going to ruin Father's Day for our whole family coming up. Pastor, go ahead and pray for him, because uh, I'm not led to hear the demon, to listen to the demon. I don't blame you. That's a filthy demon. Yeah! You guys ready to get this shit started? Uh, Heavenly Father, Father God, we pray. Yeah! Everybody having a good time? For uh, uh, Ronnie, the grandfather of the gentleman's calling in. Uh, get rid of these fucking wives! Pray, Father, that you remove this satanic spirit from him. I don't approve of profanity. Oh, my God, it worked. Good old Christian Grandpa Ronald is back. Hallelujah! It feels really good. I don't want you to go to hell. I want you to go to heaven. Lord Jesus, amen. Fuck this place. Fuck some whores. Uh-oh, the demon's back in him. Repent. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, Grandpa Ronald is back now. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, man that God loves. Hallelujah. I'm a cock. No, 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 no. no. Uh-oh, uh, horny Ronnie Demon is back, and now he's gay. What is this that no has I'm going to lick your asshole. Shut off this phone. Shut off this and phone. And I'm going to rub your cock at the same time. Uh-uh. Whew. Wow. Wow. I'm going to tell you how strong yeah. the devil is. You're not going to come and spill some filthy stuff to nasty up the program. Woo. These homosexuals and lesbians, no devil can come on yeah. blood talk really and disturb Disturb Blood Talk Radio, because Blood Talk Radio belongs to God himself. This is God's line. It's God's line. You are not able to ejaculate when you want. You are not living up to your sexual potential. Yes, we have a caller. Do you have a question for our guest? Hey, it's Ronnie with a sexy, Hi, practical sex tip. Absolutely, yes. You lay her down on her back. You take out your dick, and you start to rub it on the nipples of her tits. Hmm. That sounds interesting. Then you get that little cheese that comes out of your cock. What you do then is you take your cock and you put it in between her tits and you start to titty fuck her. Um. Uh. And then you say to her, open wide, baby, because I'm going to drop my load right in your mouth. Another sexy tip from Ronnie. Well, thank you, Ronnie, for that uh, you know, very sexy tip. We appreciate it. You being serious or are you breaking my balls? I really can't answer that question because um, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. What are you breaking my balls for, dude? I was offended because it uh, was treating that woman like an object. It's fucking sex, dude. No woman wants to be objectified in that way. You know, you guys make like sex is fucking dirty, man. What the fuck is wrong with all of you? There's nothing wrong with exploring the body in all of its ways that it can be explored. But he was I talking about... I think what about... we're both saying is communication is the key. He must have a great sex life at home, analyzing everything he does. That's awesome. I guess you have a full... Uh... Active sex life with your partner. Dude, if I eat a girl out and she blows it in my mouth, fine. And you know what I'm saying? That's really nice to know. I'm glad you are fulfilled. I'm not embarrassed, dude. Uh, that's uh, amazing. The way that he approached it, hey, I want to titty fuck you. I'm sorry, that's not the way to get what you want out of your partner. Really? Oh, really? <laughs> uh, Is our hour up? Is your no, uh, hour? we have about um, 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, Slap my ass. <laughs> okay. Well, that was interesting. Yeah. This is yeah. a person who is just looking at our conversation to, for lack of a better word, Yeah, I got to get in this. Hello. Can I help you? Hello. Hello. RM Limo Driver 69. Yes, and how can I help you? On, uh, on the Beaver Box. They have to pay a house fee. Okay. Just a minute. Beaver Bucks. Um, Yes, they... Beaver Bucks. What are you asking, sir, about Beaver Bucks? Go ahead. You explain it again. Beaver Bucks. No, um, sir, 
when you talk about beaver bucks... Beaver bucks. Just a minute. Are you talking about how they are used or what? I'm trying to figure out what you would, what information you need. I really don't want to get into it. Most of these clubs don't hardly they even use beaver bucks. Okay, who... The students pay for room and board, but that does not all encompass what beaver bucks are about. It's ridiculous. What is ridiculous, sir? I'm not sure what you're asking me. I love the name beaver bucks. Well, well that's good. Beaver bucks. Okay. All Beaver right. Well, thank, thank you. If you Beaver love that name, that's great. But Beaver I don't bucks. have a question for you. So you have a good day, okay? Don't bullshit me now. If you have a question, please feel free to call me back. Hold on. Yes? Beaver box. This is W. In area funeral announcements, Ronnie, the limo driver, Mund, died Wednesday at 102 years of age. He was a proud employee of Whoa Whoa Stop the Clock Shop and loved writing poetry for his great-grandchildren. His favorite poem was titled Winter. A line from his poem Winter that the grandchildren loved was, Winter is when we get an extra hour of Z's. And now that Ronnie has passed to heaven, we pray that he gets many hours of much-needed Z's. Ronnie also loves his old Chevy convertible and he loved to ride in it around in Glasgow topless. Survivors include his great-grandchildren, Howard, Robin, Fred, Gary, Benji, J.D., Jason, Will, J.D., Steve, Richard, and Salvatore. Funeral services for Ronnie, the limo driver, Mund, will be 1 p.m. Saturday at Gavin Funeral Home, Holbrook, New York. Though a resident of Glasgow, Kentucky, he will be buried with family in his birth state of New York. Yeah, hi. You're looking to buy hot rod cars. Uh, my great-granddad and I have one for sale. Well, now, hold on a second. Who is this? Well, my name's Rusty. Hi, Rusty. Tell him your name, great-granddad. Ronnie the limo driver. Vice president of NASCAR. Wow. What do you, uh, wh what's up with this car? What, uh... It's a demon Hellcat. Oh, a Hellcat? Right. It's built with one seat. Why would it only have one seat? Are you kidding me, dude? The demon is made for drag racing. That's why it comes with one seat. Oh, somebody turned it into a drag car. I said that, dude. Drag racing. Strictly drag racing. Yeah, it's not street legal, right? Right. The Hellcat and the demon has the same fucking motor, dude. Well, the, yeah, they both come with it. Just one's, one is more higher output. 707 horsepower. The same fucking motor. One of, the, one of them is like 600. It has 16 cylinders, okay? 16 cylinders? What, do you got two motors in it? It's a V-shaped block with eight cylinders. It's a flathead engine. And it's a flathead. It's a V8. I'm not that up on the motors, okay? But I know they're hand-built. Well, when you learn more about cars and you know what you're talking about, give me a call again. They mold out the body, you jerk off. <sighs> what the fuck do I care? What do you care what I drive? The fuck do you care what I drive? I don't give a shit. How's that? Well, you, you got your head so far up your ass, you fucking see daylight at the other end, man. You're a stupid fuck. Yeah, fuck. Ronnie doesn't know it, but Ronnie is so great. And I'm going to tell you why he's great. So you know something set Ronnie off. The thing that sets Ronnie off the most is when people say elderly to him. Ronnie, you didn't even know this. Over the summer, the guys called Ronnie at home. I didn't know anything during that call. I lost my shit. This is the greatest <laughs> moment of my summer. This is why I couldn't wait to get back on the air, just to play it. First of all, this proves that Ronnie is just an ornery guy. I mean, he will yell at anyone. I thought the people on this phony phone call were very nice. They're calling Ronnie saying, look, we know your age. It's part of the government service to check in on the elderly and make Fuckers. sure you're okay. Elderly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But when Ronnie elderly. hears that they're checking up on him for being elderly, he goes fucking berserk. You should have been in my house when this was going on. Stephanie was working in the office. She came <laughs> flying out of the office and said, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Here's Ronnie being called at home with the government trying to help him out because he's elderly. Here you go. Hello. Hello, Mr. Mund. Uh, my name is Shirley St. Germain. I work for the Division of Senior Services. We're just calling certain individuals to make sure that they're faring well during these extreme weather events. Yeah, we're fine. Thank you. We have no problem. Everything's good here. And you've been no drinking problem. enough water to stay hydrated? Yes, all good. Thank you. 
I just want to make sure that you don't need a Meals on Wheels person to come by to your house. No, I don't. No, I don't. Everything's fine. Okay, perfect. And do you have a pool to cool off in this weather? Yes. I just want to make sure, are there special bars that you have to get in and out safely? (sighs) Ma'am, everything is fine. Okay, please. Okay. Enough with the questions. I assume that's... I'm sorry, sir. It does sound a bit like you're in distress. This could be a sign of heat stroke. I am not in distress, okay? I'm fine. You, I mean, being, I'm being in distress because you're asking me all these questions that I don't want to answer. The way you're acting now is a sign of heat stroke. I want to make sure that you know that we do have cooling centers for seniors in the area if your house is not properly cooled. I have a brand new house, brand new pool. What else would you like to know? Would you like to know what time I wake up in the morning? Sir, please stay calm. We can send help if you need it. I am going to hang up the phone right now and stop calling me, please. This is a bit personal. I just want to know, how are your stools? Are they black or are they brown and normal? Hello? Hello, Mr. Mund. A supervisor was monitoring my call, and because of your temperament on the call, she advised us to send a caseworker to your house right away just to confirm that you are not having No, there's stroke. no caseworker coming to my house. What don't you understand about I have a wife here? I have a wife here. I have a job, okay? I'm very functional. I am fine, okay? I drive a car. I do everything, okay? I'm not, I'm not broken down and old, okay? You got to stop this. You got to stop these phone calls. You sound healthy, but because of your age, we do have to check up on you. It is our responsibility. No, I'm not. And nobody's going to answer. Nobody's going to talk to you. Okay. This is ridiculous. We're just sending someone down there to check and they're just going to ask you a few more questions. You are not sending anyone here because no one will answer the door. They're just going to make sure that the home is cool. Did you hear what I just said, miss? What What is your problem? Is there someone else in the house that I could speak to? Perhaps a caregiver? What is your problem? I have a wife here. What What is going on with you? And is your wife also just, mobile? Is she? Does she take care of you? Is she in is charge of the medicine? Years, my wife is 40 years old, okay? So she is sort of a, a, a caregiver for you then? Can I speak to your supervisor, please? Let me speak to your supervisor. This is ridiculous. Um, I would maybe have to put you on hold for just a moment, I want to speak to your supervisor, miss. I want to speak to your supervisor. What is the, the problem with you? Okay, just one moment, sir. Please stay calm. I'm not... Oh, stop it. Stay calm. <laughs> this is the supervisor, Mace. Yes. Who am I speaking with? Uh, this lady, whoever I'm speaking to, I'm explaining everything in my house. Miss St. Germain, yes. It's a brand new house, brand new pool, and you, you're harassing me right now. Okay. Do you have a hearing device connected to your phone? I'm afraid you're just a little bit low. Are you? Do you require any assistance using the uh, the handheld device? No, I don't. I don't. I'm on a <laughs> cell phone. Okay. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you fine. You're not hearing impaired, sir. No, I'm not. Are you calling from a rotary telephone, sir? Excuse me? Do I have to call the police on you? What is, what is your problem? <laughs> you turned into a Karen. Let me speak to your supervisor. That was great. Let me speak to your supervisor. That's and awesome. how are you going to call the police on the social services agent? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm calling the police. Let's try the phones again. Hi, you're on with the motor mouths. I drive an 07 Denali. Oh, okay. And who's this? Yeah, so what do you what do you know about cars? Not much. Well, who's this? Who what do you want to ask me? Who are we talking to? Ernie Irvin. Ernie Irvin. Ernie Irvin. Oh, okay. Yeah, ask me a question. They ask you a question. Why do we want to ask you a question, Ernie? You called us. What's the question you're going to ask? Well, what's wrong with your car? That's why I got the audio show and you don't. Okay. Yeah, okay. And you got knowledge. Yeah, you got all the knowledge in the world. Well, no, that we don't have. That's absolutely not true. Yeah, good. Okay, so what What about the Camaro? Okay, what about it? That's the question. What about the Camaro? That's what we asked. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a, that's a Chrysler product, pal, not a GM product. The Camaro? <laughs> it's a piece of shit. Go look at the Dodge Challenger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I, I was confused. <laughs> I was definitely confused. All right, let's try this again. Okay. <laughs> I around the motor mounts. This ain't Hot Rod Magazine, pal. So anyway, I don't know. All righty, let's try this. I around the motor mounts. I said the Camaro is a piece of shit. That's what I said. You know, it's, we can't win. We are just doing No, it's this. amazing.